Okay, let's get started. It's already 12 o'clock. So welcome everyone to this second part of the Linux Shell course. It's called Linux Shell Scripting. Uh, myself is Ivan Tervanto. I am at Alta University working for the Alta Scientific Computing. And so the practical aspects of this course, a uh, few notes. There will be a couple of documents which we will be using. So one of them is the material itself. Uh, it's the, uh, you should have received already an email from Enrico. So there were a couple of links, including this Zoom link. And on top of that, there were also a link to this uh, Autos Kikom at GitHub. So here we have our Linux shell uh, course. So that's already the course continuation. The first part was given already on the in the autumn but no worries we will come back to this i will sh tell you shortly what we expected so let's continue with the documents uh, there will be feedback form for yourself and for ourselves so this is the um, hdoc pretty much like hackmd just the branch of this and so here will be your questions here will be our comments our references, and we will keep it up to date uh, and update it all the, all the three days. So the second part of this course, I mean, this part of this course, it's going to be the three hours each, three times, today, tomorrow, and after tomorrow. We will start precisely at 12, but then actually the Zoom sessions will be open already a bit in advance. So if you have any question or if you have uh, if you need some kind of issues to resolve, so you can also join the Zoom session a bit earlier and we will take a look at your issue. So what is my expectation from your side? I expect that you already somewhat uh, spend some time to get your to get your terminal open so that you have access to Linux. It's the, I'm not talking about that you have full type of Linux installation. It's full enough if you have some XSH connection to your, uh, <clears throat> be it uh, interactive server at your university or maybe your workstation. That's enough. If you have your own Linux laptop, that's even better. So you can do it locally. So pretty much anything which will give you a bash uh, session open for you. So that's regarding this one. So what you can expect from this course is that we will uh, go through the all the scripting uh, abilities of uh, of the bash. So we, you expect by the end of the course, you should be able to write already your own scripts. And so we will start with very simple ones like hello bash, and then we will continue to uh, keep the increase in the level of complexity and then by the end of the day you should be able to create something which is more or less suitable for your cv and something which you will be able to put finally on the github if you have an account over there so regarding these notes uh, notes on the contrafinery.org so if you go there you can easily go to the edit mode or you can have them both and you can see what you are typing in. So just make sure that, uh, well, if you have any question, then you can click the help button. And so you will see uh, more or less the references about the syntax of this code. And then don't hesitate to ask the questions over here. So we stream this, uh, this lecture. And that's a streaming, we're also recording it. So you're muted and you do not appear on the recording. So that's the point why we actually want these questions to be answered, uh, to be asked and to be answered in this uh, kind of uh, text mode. So, but feel free, it's anonymous. You don't need to have any kind of account, just go there. My setup, my setup is going to be as next. So our sandbox, our working horse over will be here the terminal so this is what i have so i have a prompt and i have the blinking cursor which will be waiting for the for me to start typing the commands 
because of the commons, they sometimes provide quite long outputs. So what we've done also, I have another one terminal over here, which will automatically uh, output what I'm typing here. So if I'm typing the command like echo test, it will appear over here. You will find it useful later when the screen will go off and the will be polluted already by the output of the different end or I, or I will clear the screen somehow of my terminal. And so you can still look at this commands over here. That's not it. I have also uh, done this, my demo space in my home directory on my local computer as part of my uh, university page. So I have on my university page uh, directory called shell. If you go to this HTTPS users auto.fi, my username and shell. So you should have this link actually over here on the code refinery. So you don't need to type it on your own, just click it over there. So here you will get first, here we'll get all the scripts that we will be preparing they will be automatically added over here to the web page. And then also you will hear the whole, you will hear, see the whole bash history. It's easy to take it out from here and copy paste it to your own terminal. Okay, by saying that, I think I'm pretty much done with it. Ah, uh, doo -doo -doo. so this is, a hands-on tutorial. So my target over here is to be more or less 50-50. If I'm saying something like for 10 minutes, then I expect that we will spend 10 minutes on actually doing something. So there will be lots of doing over here. And so it does really make sense that you have your terminal open and you have all the uh, all this setup ready to go. I think this is pretty much what I had to say about the initial part if uh, any question is left then please go and type it over here i'm not alone on this course i am the speaking kind of head but there will be uh, several of uh, our team guys uh, helping you and me uh, to answer these questions so if you type the question be sure there will be someone to reply you pretty much immediately so there is will be work done in the background but let's get that back to the material so this linux shell basics has been given as i told you already in autumn so now we will be working on the linux shell scripting the material is quite comprehensive this is this the one which is online i will not read you from these slides i don't have actually any slide over here i will use its material uh, and everything what I will be saying, it's more or less somewhere here, but I don't really follow directly the material itself. And the exercises, which are part of this material and actually written fully by our team, uh, they will appear over here. So I have an example of first exercise. And so that you, when we will come to this, you will see how it will go full. Okay, so the first, icebreaker and the starter so you told already if you haven't answered yet the question please try to do it also over here so that will give us some picture of what we're doing and who is taking the course and let's get your hands dirty 